Welcome to Dell EMC Connectrix Brocade B Series. How to configure encryption and compression on brocade switches. Reference Dell EMC Knowledge Base Article Number 545316. This video discusses what encryption and compression are, and why it's configured. So let's see what they mean and why are they required. Encryption provides security for frames while they are in flight, between two switches. Compression provides better bandwidth use on the ISLs, especially over long distance. The purpose of encryption and compression. This feature allows frames to be encrypted, or compressed, at the egress point of an ISL, between two brocade switches. And then to be decrypted or decompressed at the ingress point of the ISL. Frames are never left in an encrypted, or compressed state when delivered to an end device. This video will provide the procedure on configuring encryption and compression on 16 or 32 GBPS capable end-to-end -end brocade ISL switches. Before you begin with the configuration, the following points need to be taken into consideration, as this slide talks about the prerequisites for this topic. Please take a moment to read through this slide. Before you enable encryption, this procedure of configuring the authentication is very important, as authentication between two physical entities is required, so the ISL or extended ISL, which connects the two chassis can be authenticated. These switches have two authentication protocols, DHCAP and FCAP. To enable encryption for this demo, DHCAP authentication protocol is configured and secret key is exchanged. Kindly follow these steps carefully. For a detailed explanation of each step, please refer to the Fabric OS admin guide. Kindly take a moment to read them. This demo is set up with two brocade switches which has ISL connectivity on port 5 between virtual fabric and non-virtual fabric switches on E ports. Now, let's begin with enabling encryption and compression. In this demo, the switch show output is grepped for port 5 using FCID on both the switches. Switch port must be disabled prior enabling encryption and compression with port disable command. Validate with port CFG show if these ports have encryption and compression disabled, so it can be enabled now. Run the same steps of disabling the port and validate if these features are disabled, on other end, ISL switch. Enable encryption and compression one at a time on the switches. First let's enable encryption. Now, enable compression. Validate with port CFG show command to see if these ports 
have encryption and compression enabled, as highlighted. Since the configuration is success with no errors, now enable port 5. Repeat the same on, other end of the ISL switch. Run switch show, to confirm if ISL ports are enabled, and link is up, as the switch ports, were disabled for configuration. Now, we can see that encryption and compression is enabled, on end-to-end -end ISL ports, successfully. Please reference the following for more information. The documents are available on Dell EMC support site. Knowledge Base Article 545-316 is available on the support forum. Both video and content are based on Fabric OS version 7.4.x admin guide. This document is available on Dell EMC support site and can refer subtopic in flight encryption and compression. Thank you for watching.